Hello, everybody. Welcome to One Punch Man. Um, I just want to show people real quick the way that I found to be the fastest level up, which was this. Uh, well, first, I guess I should show you guys. So, like, um, the way that I did this was as soon as I beat the game, I redid all my stats. Like, I bought, I used the secret token, the ticket, or whatever, redid my stats. Um, and I put it all in, like into, I split it like evenly between kill and move and HP. So, I had like, it was like 20 and 20 or something back when I ended the game. Um, and then I just maxed out killer move as I went because I wasn't taking too much damage. And then I just did HP. And then for the last few levels, I was just putting it to attack to make things go a little faster. Um, but the best way I found, uh, the way that gave me the most um, XP for my level at the same end... Uh, I like the fastest rate was this one because you just fight one monster um you can get him basically in a loop here uh i'm the psychic type also i should have mentioned that so i'm a psychic type and i after the game i uh okay, shut up so after the game i got this move here uh it's uh psychic crush you do one uh, quest for Tatsumaki and she gives this to you and you just do this and you kill them in two moves 10 seconds 11 seconds um, usually I can get it off perfect without taking any damage um, if you do it even remotely close to to that you'll get an S rank and then you get 17,425 experience uh, so as you can see I only do it three more times I basically was at zero for 98 so from 70 to 80 it took one one level per run from 80 to 90 it took like two two fights per per level and then uh from 90 to 99 it's been basically about two uh so this is like the only level where i'm really gonna have to do like a full three from start to finish and that's just because i'm gonna cap out once i get to 99 because that's max level so you just and you're just staying this interface so you just keep you, you do this again doesn't take that long to load every once in a while Um, he might, like, start beating the crap out of you. I would still just finish the fight. I don't think it's worth restarting in the middle of the fight. Normally, he'll just, like, guard or something. And then sometimes you, like, fucking knock him away. Too much, so... So you can just, like, do this. Like, you do him through three. And if he blocks, you can just do this. And this should kill him, actually. So that took me, like... 16 seconds or something because I missed the first thing got straight S's because I did flawless got the same amount of XP and so one more and I'm gonna reach max level um, but even when my max even when my killer killer move wasn't at full 30 it would still be basically the same um, like it still does like about half his bar in damage so you really only have to do it twice and this guy like I mean one of the things here I'll show like I'll show another thing that you can do, like, get him in a pattern. So, normally they would block here, like that, yeah, and then you just run up and do this. He's in the middle of a move, so he can't guard, he can't guard and block. Every once in a while, he'll do a dash to, like, the right or left, like that, like, when you do it. But I'm just gonna show you this, like, hopefully he's gonna run at me as I do this, and he's not. The one time I want to show it. This, this, hey, hole. Alright, run at me. So they do this. Yeah. What? Oh my god. Well, that was a bad example. But normally they run, and then as soon as they stop running, they, they either jump or they do a punch. They do some move. And if you do that grab that grab move, um, it catches them as they come at you. It catches them as they come at you, and then you, you still you still beat them. And then bam. That's level 99. Um, so for anyone that needed to watch this to see what... I think the most efficient way of leveling up in this game is um, you're previously done here. I didn't think that the items really did much, like the master's notebook and, and things like that. I didn't really see that they that they did much. Um, and I'll go back to the um, bus stop here just get that achievement, um, or not the achievement, but like the, the thing. Um, I didn't think that they did much. They they I used the the maximum item one once and it gave me like an extra like it got it like nineteen thousand instead of seventeen thousand. I think like grinding for those or like buying them if you even can in this game 
Maybe if you do it before you start grinding, but if you're like in the middle of grinding, it's not worth leaving to go buy him. Because it I mean it gets you like one extra one extra level every like ten fights or something. Not worth it. <laughs> in my opinion. And the rest of these I just need to buy some stuff. So if you were just watching for that, for how to how to level up fast, you're good here. Thanks for watching. Um and uh, yeah, I hope it was helpful. Uh, for anyone else that's like just like a general follower, I'm gonna go ahead and buy a bunch of stuff here just to just to finish things off. So like, um, I should go back and look at how much I need to buy of each thing. Uh, so I need avatar parts. So I need about seven, about eighty-six, right? I need like eighty-six. Um, I need three skills. And I need 28 uh, pieces of furniture. So, and then I should have the platinum there. So I just wanted to record this last part here to show that. So I just need there to pop up, yeah. I By, by doing that thing, you get money each time. So, like, look at that. I have, yeah, uh, 1.4 million. So... And it's 20% off when you're S rank. I did the same thing to grind up to S rank, basically. Um, and at S rank is when you get all those... Uh, um, the Tatsumaki move. And there's also an Atomic Samurai move. So, like, there was a, a quest for Atomic Samurai to get him to max uh, rep. And a move. And then a, a Psychic quest to get her up to max rep. And I didn't do any, like, the throwback things where, like, with the guy that, like, enters your dreams or anything like that. If people really want to see that stuff, I, I can always... Oh, this might not be uh, the best way to do this. Look at how much money I'm spending here. Oh, some of these are really cheap. Um, if people really want to see that, I can always maybe come back into the game and do it. Um, I only really want the platinum here, though. I haven't been paying attention to how much I got here, though. It's probably worth going to, like, the secret shop, too. And just buying that stuff, because... That's, like, some of the cooler stuff in the game. I'm sure most people want to do that. That's, like, where you can, like, get, like, the Boros stuff and the Crablante stuff. Um, like, these are just regular outfits, so... And this is the grind here for Platinum, right? So... <laughs> just buy all the weapons because why the hell not buy every face because there aren't that many of these I want to see after I buy like all the faces and hairstyles like uh, what I'm sitting at a lot of these are ugly as hell though and there's the one that everyone uses because it's freaking Saitama and Metal Bat These are all S rank hero guys, basically. I don't know who that guy is. I think the bandana might be, um... Golden Ball, maybe? I don't know. Um, so I did not get enough... Things. Uh, I'm just gonna do the other things here. I am curious to see what I'm at here after buying all that stuff, though. Because everything else I just got as rewards. Um... Oh my god. All these things here. Let's buy the most expensive stuff. Holy hell. Let's not do that. That's way too much money for what that is. I just need three. I mean, I should have just... Bought the, the three I needed, but whatever. I don't know why it didn't give me that. Didn't I only need three skills? I'm actually going to count this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I don't want the bicycles. Yeah, I don't want those either. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. All right, so that one I got. Why did I not get the skill one? How many did I? How many did I? Did I only buy two? No. Yeah, no, I got. All right. I don't know why I didn't get the trophy there. And then I need six more things. Okay. I'm gonna go to the secret shop over here and buy those though. Uh, not really to make the video longer, you know, not on purpose, but just. Um, just to uh, sh uh, showcase that stuff. I'm also going to make this title like super clickbaity for all the people that have, are still watching who aren't watching it just because of the clickbait. Um, just to try it out. I'm, I don't, it's not my style. I'm not going to do it really very often, but my friend said I could just do it. So I was like, yeah, sure. Why, why not? I don't know. It's something that I could try. Um, so yeah, you can like buy all these things, right? So like the blue tokens, I got like a shit ton of these things. Oh, I did not have a lot of those, though. Oh my god, how do you grind those things up? That's crazy. Oh, good. What I always wanted. And then that's, like, basically everything. Oh, I can buy these. Because why not? Green chips are, like... Easiest to get. I don't know why I'm actually buying these at this point. I guess just to have them. Because I already, I already planned on this, so like I'm good. Or did I not? Accomplishment unlocked. That's all the accomplishments. What what trophy can I have left for the platinum? I'm legit gonna have to look it up. That's crazy. And by look it up, I mean go into my menu. And check that Shiza out. Because I'll finish the accomplishment board here. I finished everything else. Right. Okay. So, oops, gotta close this, and then, like, can I go down here? So which fucking trophy am I missing? Oh, I gotta make sure I got all these. What do I still have to do? Is it buy more fucking skills? Obtain 30 or more skills. I did, in the game, it told me I did. No! I mean, that's the only one I have left. F. Fine. I'll buy, like, one more skill. I better get it, because I got it in the game. And if that's, this Platinum is bugged for me, I'm going to be so pissed. Because that would just be my luck. There we go. Freaking dumb. Here. Just because now I need to overkill this bitch. But yes, that's me getting platinum. So I wanted to make this video just to basically close out the game. Um, like I said, there were a few extra side missions when you got to S rank. Um, S rank was just really some of the hero missions. Um, just to get a couple of the skills. And then to get the monster... Um, monster fighting style moves, you have to uh, beat some of the S rank missions. Uh, not the, the seven, the seven fist missions. Sorry. Um, and you need to actually do like the extra uh, bonus achievements and stuff. Okay. 
There is one. No, I already unlocked it. See, the game broke. There was one where it says, um, it's like Malevolent Part 2 or 3 or something, and it says, this is my last sort of warning before I finish this off like completely. It's like, finish with 30% or more time remaining. What it actually means, because it's worded incorrectly, because I had to look this up, is it means um, finish within 30% of the timer starting. So there are two things that you can do for that. One, you have to, it starts at 200, so you have to beat it by 140. And I beat it the way that I did it with 140 seconds left and like 28 milliseconds or something. So I had 28 milliseconds or hundredths of a second was how, was how, was the, my, my margin of error there. And I beat this thing like eight times trying to do it. Um, the way I did it was I used one of the items to give myself maximum moves. And then I just, I had my guy set up with the 30 killer attack and 30 HP. Uh, so what I had, so I used, uh, start with, uh, nine move stacks but you can also probably use the item like the stopwatch that gives you like extra time and then your percentage will be different so like you can finish it it can take a little bit longer to finish and you still get 30 percent thing or you can just keep redoing the mission over and over and over again like backing out of the menu and going back in until saitama's like your partner or something and then you get him to come in and one shot the the two guys uh that you fight but yeah that's it for one punch man a hero nobody knows finished it platinumed it uh, the grind, really doing that, only took a few hours, to be honest. Uh, maybe like, since I was like in like my 50s, uh, it took maybe like five or six hours total game time. Um, it's not really something I really wanted to stream, but I wanted to show you guys at the end me getting the platinum and stuff. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys liked the, the playthrough, and I hope you guys enjoyed the content. And I will hopefully see all, or most, any of you, really, uh, in another game. So uh, if you want to see more, uh, follow my follow my Twitch. It'll be in the description. Um, subscribe on YouTube. I'll upload be uploading most of my games. Um, not too much Twitch only content except for maybe like multiplayer like multiplayer games or one off games and things like that. Um, and games that I don't think I might be against terms of service on YouTube. But until then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and you stay classy, YouTube audience. <laughs>